Thank you, Mr. Spokane. We recognize uh, Mr. Molnar. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, Commissioner Werfel. Uh, just last Friday, Treasury issued a final rule on the 30D tax credit, which included relaxing restrictions on sourcing graphite from China. And as you may know, the People's Republic of China passed new critical mineral export controls last October, which allow the PRC to restrict graphite exports to any country for supposed national security reasons. There is clear evidence that these restrictions are already happening. Last June, European battery manufacturers were unable to source graphite from the PRC, causing negative repercussions for battery production in Europe. That's according to the European Commission. Uh, Commissioner, do you believe the tax dollars of hardworking Americans should be given to foreign entities of concern or their U.S. subsidies? I th we have a responsibility uh, at the IRS to, uh, to work to find the right outcome. Treasury ultimately has the final discretion on what a, a, a notice or a final rule will indicate. I know just based on the fact that we get a lot of public comment and a lot of differing opinions on whether how we construct a reg, well, what kind of outcomes it will have. I think it's a healthy dialogue to have. I think ultimately what our responsibility is at the IRS is to make sure that we're carrying out the laws dispassionately and on an evidence base, and that's what we try to do. So if I understand what you're saying is you feel that that's Treasury's responsibility to determine whether, um, you know, hardworking taxpayer dollars should be given to foreign entities of concern or their U.S. subsidiaries, I, I, not what, the IRS's. What I know is that with respect to the clean vehicle credit and other provisions uh, in the Inflation Reduction Act related to uh, energy, uh, the reg writing process has generated a, a multitude of different perspectives and opinions, a very healthy dialogue on the policy and operational tensions involved in the final reg. Ultimately, it's up to Treasury to, to calibrate all those tensions and come up with an outcome that best serves the intent of the law. So you don't want to share an opinion on whether uh, you know, we should be giving American taxpayer dollars to entities from Russia, uh, China, Iran, North Korea. I think the intent of the law is to curb uh, any financial benefit of uh, foreign entities of concern. And I am all about uh, supporting the intent of that law. I think ultimately there's a variety of different paths you can take to meet that objective. And Treasury has the final say on what path okay. we take. Can you tell me what statutory authority you believe gives you the ability to create an impractical to trace safe harbor, a category of constituent material or a category of battery material, absolutely none of which are remotely contemplated in the 30D statute as amended by the IRA? That question I'm going to have to get back to you on for uh, to understand from uh, Treasury General Counsel and Office of Tax Policy what uh, legislative authorities they've relied on for reaching any conclusions under that regulation. Okay, and I would welcome any uh, a letter or some communication from your general counsel to just establish the likelihood that these provisions would even withstand legal challenge by a taxpayer. I can commit to that. Thank you. Uh, are there any restrictions under current law that would prevent a subsidiary of a foreign entity of concern that receives IRA tax credits from sending those payments back to its parent company in a hostile foreign nation? Again, I will have to get back to you on, on the steps that are being taken to mitigate the type of risk that you describe. Uh, but, um, but again, I'm not familiar with the exact details of that, so I'll have to get back to you. Okay, thank you. Um, are there any measures that you intend to implement to ensure that taxpayer funds are not directed to such entities, considering the broader implications for national security and economic independence? Yes. I mean, that now you've hit on the responsibility that the IRS has, is once the decisions are made in terms of the, the parameters, the guardrails, the, the what, what is legal and what is not from a regulatory standpoint, and the IRS has to stand up uh, the infrastructure, including the, the fraud detection, the program integrity issues, and therefore we will build uh, what I call a risk register uh, to understand uh, what are the top 
issues that will degrade the integrity of the program and the intent of the law and the regulation, and we'll use data science and other uh, elements to try to make sure that we have leading indicators to see where behavior is going in a direction that we need to step in and prevent it. And so in the future, as we move forward to implement final regs, I'd be happy to brief you on some of the program integrity uh, things that we're doing to address. Do you have any idea on timing on that? I not 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 at my fingertips, but I can get back to you on proposed time. Okay, thank you. Thank I you. yield back, Mr. Chairman. 